morning everybody, how are you? Welcome back. My name's Iris Smith and I'm the owner of a small business called The Flower Patch. And at The Flower Patch I make beautiful artificial flower arrangements from wreaths, door swags, home decor, things for the garden, funeral tributes, weddings and much more. Right guys, um, I just wish to say I've got another customer order that we're doing. Um, can you remember the other day when I said that I, I showed you the two planters and I said I've got three more to do but they're longer. Here's one out of the last three and we're going to do one of these which is part of the customer order which I've got for the smaller ones over there. And uh, the lady who uh, brought these in to me likes wispy and pastel colours. And she loves the conifer. She loves the conifer. So, I've got out lots of things on my uh, workbench to fulfil the lady's wishes. This is... 24 inches long isn't it pretty it's really pretty I placed in two full blocks and then a, a third of a block in here of the dry foam I placed in some long um, stems that I've had wire stems um, I've placed in to go all the way through so that all the three pieces of the foam hold together and once I did that I then put wreath wrap around from top all the way around and then over I went up as well and then I used black tie wraps three of them to place them in here so they don't move and they stay sat on the ladies wall because they are going on her wall and she has hooked little holes here to place hooks on for it to place so if I just move that one just slightly because I don't want that catching on the ladies wall there we go and that will sit on a wall aren't they lovely you can get these in the hanging baskets as well but the ladies obviously had them in the wall baskets. There's a price tag on there. Or oh, should I say a little where the tag went. So <clears throat> that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to sit down for this. Um, and we may get, get disturbed. I've got a parcel coming for... Uh, the order that I've got for the bride. Some more of her things are arriving. So we may end up getting disturbed for that, guys, and I apologise in advance. So, let's go through what we've got. Now, I've got some of my vine just to place along the sides, hanging down. These are some of the things that the customer actually picked as well. So we've got some of those that we're gonna use. These are the last bits of my hanging vine. I've been using them and using them, chopping away. I have got rose petals, um, or rose leaves, should I say, that I may add for the filler. I've got two different types, a lighter one and a darker one. And I may place some of these at the back as well for the filler also. I have got bits of ivy, variegated ivy that I may add in. I'm not sure yet. Uh, we'll see what it's like as it's placed in. Um, now I've got, these are oddments. Um, the lady didn't choose these, but I was looking at this, the elements that we've got and I thought these could sit lovely around the side, just slightly on, on the edge at the front, with it being a nice shade uh, of the uh, wall basket. 
and then I thought these as well would look pretty hanging down. I can't remember what these are called. You know what guys, when I don't use them for a while, it just goes over my head. It really, really does. But I thought they would look pretty as well. And they have the roots on, on the main stem. But I may be chopping away at those. And again, like the lady, she loves her conifer. One of my favorites, guys. And that's going all around the front, as she wishes, and some around just the sides as well. And I've got my euphorbia. Um, I've cut little bits down, and then I stop myself thinking, well, I don't know how long, <laughs> how long I want the stems. So I've got a, one long stem, two medium, and then I start chopping at some others. So we'll see. If not, I'll add them to. I'll put them to my oddments, put a band around them, and use them for something else, another project. Um, We've got some of our uh, off-white, dusty-coloured um, seeds that, I mean, I like these. Out of all the seeds I've had, I like this colour. I don't know, because it's off-white and it's not too bright or startling and it looks more natural to me. So I do like this one. So that is all our foliage. Now on to our floral. Now, I've got out, again, I'm not sure if I'm going to use these, um, some white carnations. I've also got out some pink pansies with their own little foliage as well. The lady definitely wanted calla lilies. She loved these when she spotted them. So, I mean... A woman of my heart, both like them, um, so she likes, she wants the white and the purple adding in, so she can. And I've got out three bunches of my, 24 bunches of pink baby gerbras. This is the lady who wanted the baby gerbras. So we've got those as well. I've also got out some little buds, rose buds, aren't they dinky? They are really dinky guys. They are half an inch. Oh I love it like this. Half an inch wide the bud heads. So I thought I may just add some of those for a different texture. Now I've got some other carnations out. Um, I'm not sure which ones I want to use. I thought I may, because there's a lot of pink, I may add just some of these purple uh, tipped ones as well, or I may add a bit of both. I can't really make my mind, or I might not even add any. We'll see. So, just to see what that would look like as well. Now, I am adding in some more dogwood. The lady uh, liked the dogwood, so... I mean, it is beautiful, isn't it? Lovely tones. So we're going to hide that. And I've got some purple peonies, just for a little softer touch, and purple, well, let me just move that, ranunculus as well. Or are they all ranunculus? No, I think the, the ranunculus of these ones, well, I know they're there, but let me just separate. I ought to put them in a separate pile. But the ranunculus, my favourite flower of all, and the peonies. So I'm going to maybe add some purple of those, and I've got some pink ranunculus as well that I may add also and the lady having Scottish backgrounds wanted a thistle just to represent her I think it's her husband's uh, nationality and they have the Scottish thistle so she's requested in each one if I just place one in so that's what we're going to do 
So guys, let's just get it all down there and start. Now again with this, it's not a case of I'm starting just with our foliage. Uh, I'm going bit of foliage, bit of floral and so on. Oh, let me get my coffee. So, I'm going to do it. Well, I'm going to try to do it this way, guys. And what I'm going to do, because the lady likes, and some of it I will be going through. So let's get my oil puncher out and I will be going through so it hangs slightly lower on some of the others. So let me just check the camera before we start. I want to make sure you can see. Let's just bring it there. I may have to turn it around. So you can see. Oh, I also have just a bit of as well on the side some oddments of my uh, silver dollar and some eucalyptus scenario as well in case I want just something slightly different in greenery. So if I just start here. And I'm not forcing it through, guys, because the the customer. I don't want the customers it to be torn or look messy. And I'm going through the hole. So it hangs slightly down like that. If I could, I, and I got to stand, I would hold it up and do it this way, guys. But if I do it that way, it just leans over. So I'll try my best to just keep, just keep showing you. As I go along. This, this one is the centre one. The other two, I've got the other two are exactly the same container, you know, wall basket. But this one is going to be the centre one. Um, so I told the lady, you know, I'll put a little bit more in it. So that's what we're going to do. As well, I'm just I'm also gonna put the odd one up here also. Oh Sandra, oh my friend, dear friend Sandra. Um she goes to floral classes. Um and she's made something her husband's made her the actual container that we placed on driftwood and made her a harp oh tell him sandra that i think he's gonna have to make me one very clever it's beautiful so mr rose i think that was very nice and sandra your arrangements your picture oh my goodness you really have come on leaps and bounds my sweetheart leaps and bounds you're doing really exceptionally well. And the little bow just in there on your arrangement. 
added that finishing touch. It was wonderful. Wonderful choice of greenery as well. Right, I'm going to place some just hanging on the top. One at the, this here end. Again, because I don't want them all the same length, so I want to bring some here. But I also want to have some around the side. So if I just hold that. one on the other end and I'm going to place two either side here with the center point and I'm just going to let those stick like that So that is all the ladies conifer. Now I don't want it to look too uniformed, so I'm going to bring some down, some up, so it's all at different angles. And just do it like that. So that is what we have like that. So I'm going to place in some of the vine. So if I sit that like that, guys, while I untangle. Oh my good gracious. So, oh, I nearly did it again. And this one being more of the focal point out of the the three larger ones it's going to have a few of the vines mixed in with the tiny ones and one above and then I want two longer ones down the side right, see so this is a bunch that's all different sizes them just looking for where they're attached to one two so 
I don't need those no more. <laughs> so I want these at the back hanging down. Oh my goodness, I've got these spare ones popping up everywhere. Place a smaller one with it, give it two lengths with it. Again, this is the focal pot one out of all these three large ones. So let me just turn it around. I do check a lot when I'm doing baskets. So that is that. Coffee. And this is what I mean about these when I spotted these oddments. just hanging over in a corner if you can see just like that placing something like that hanging over so that is what I want oh, that's dropped on the floor let me just have my coffee See, when I'm doing the hanging baskets, I don't like, I know this sounds awful, I don't like anything around me. Because, especially when they're this long, because they knock everything off. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's cold. Ugh. They knock everything off the floor and I don't, I don't like it. So, for that reason, let's just slightly... Bring these down a little bit. I know the roses and that, I will be using those for filler so they can go near the bottom. <coughs> so, again, I'm going to place things like this in the customer she wants it more of a natural looking basket she doesn't want it to look fake which I understand you know I try when I do my baskets or any arrangement I try to make sure they don't look fake because I like to see them look like the real up somebody can't tell the difference you know they look and say oh those flowers are beautiful you know, where did you get those from? What garden centre or something like that? Say, so, oh no, they're no, they're artificial. Artificial? You know what I mean? It's that it's that sort of response I like. So hence the reason I try to look and get the best flowers that don't look uh, too artificial. Occasionally, you know, I may purchase some that do look slightly plastic. But um, that's only usually foliage where it's UV protected, nothing more. Um, now then, may add the odd one coming down of these. I'm going to snip these off. I've got a bunch that I started on. Yeah, I'm very particular when it comes to choosing uh, floral or anything I mean the euphorbia I've looked for euphorbia for a while and everyone I've looked at it looked plastic until I went my uh, wholesaler that I um, registered with started doing it and that it looks real it's silk it's not plastic it's silk 
and oh my goodness it was like the heavens had opened oh my god my prayers had been answered so I purchased some and I've purchased some more as well <laughs> this is the only place I can find them you know the realistic ones right these I've got a rubber a rubber stem so I'm cutting around the rubber I don't want that Please, and let them hang. And I've got them all at different, you know, lengths. I don't want them all at the same again to look too uniformed. I'll place one on the side. I'm sorry if you can't see very well guys, like I say, because it's so long and I want you to uh, get as close up as possible um, so I don't want to move the camera all the way back to where you can't see this is a dinky one place that there Got another, I'm gonna go around the center. <laughs> I think I'm getting a chest infection. My kids are both well, the youngest one's getting over his now, but he passed it on to my oldest son, who's off of work because of it. And now my oldest son, I think, is passing it on to me. Um, I keep, my chest is a bit rattly. Um, so you'll have to excuse me if it sounds like I've, like I'm horsey. So yeah, my kids always pass everything on to me. Bring that under there and twine it in. So let me just turn it around or stand it up. again it's okay having it laid down when you're doing it but then you need to keep bringing it up just to have that look so I know there it is thistle she wants the thistles at the front oh I've got blue on my face What's the thistle around the front area? Around there in the centre. Right, let's get some floral in, guys. Sorry, I'm just getting glue off me. Floral. Where's the wispy ones? Get the wispy ones in first. Keep the 
close the let's start I wish I'd got a, a proper stand so again as the lady loves a wispy let's get in a pink and again just bend push them up bend the stem manipulate them into a shape And I close them slightly like that once I've moved them around. And then that's going to go there as one. And I'm going to have three of these going across as one. I'm not cutting them, they are staying as they are. So let's start from the centre. Straight down. She doesn't want them high either. That's another thing the lady doesn't want, them too high. So I think that is about right with this being similar height to the others. So let me just turn it and just view. Let's lean it forward slightly some of the floral, bring forward, just to give that little bit of wispiness along the front. and all I'm doing is just bringing them out like that once I've done that I just quick, do a quick little bend in the stem so it's just not you know perfectly straight bring them back together and that's basically it so now they've got movement and if you you can manipulate them again once they are in so let's get the second one in which we're going to place I'm back and get it in I don't want to I may have caught, let me just pull that out guys and take that glue off. I may have caught the um, stem inside what's holding all the foam together. So let's try it slightly back or maybe forward, there we go. Right, I'll manipulate those once I've placed the other one in. Slowly, I don't want it to do anything or tear anything or snap. I've got glue all over. <laughs> so now this is where I just get. Now I've manipulated the stem and you know put a little bend in it this is what I would do bring these around and bend some over lower I just want them all around the centre 
take some to the back if you wish. Oops. And as you can see, I'm just, I'm fluffing up really. That's all I'm basically doing. I'm giving it that movement. So then when it comes to adding more in, Just pull that leaf down a little bit. So, it may look a bit bare at the moment, guys, but once I start adding in everything else, um, it will start to be look fuller. So, I gave the lady once purples. Let me just stand above it now I think I'm going to cut the odd stems off of these and place them individually Do that with those. Just push them up because they are push ups. Just by bringing and what we're going to do with this one, bring some down with the conifer to add that little bit of colour, bend the stem and just mix it in so it doesn't look odd. on the corner as well. Let them hang down. Then do this corner. Let it hang. I'm trying to keep that vine out of the way of the glue pan. Again, just by adding a little bit of colour down below and we can also go here but I want to place a few up in here at the top as well so you have to blend them in with the pink Bring some forward. Let's just have a look. Doesn't that look wonderful? The pinks and purples. Now, let me just lay that down. Did 
don't get any more purple, probably not. So let me just grab another stem. Uh, oh, this is, I picked the wrong thing. I picked up the, uh, <laughs> the crocus. Take that out, go through the hole, and you'll know once you've hit the uh, bone because you'll hear that crunchy noise. Just bend it down. Get a white one on the tip. Do the same with this one. Right, so let me just sit that up so I can see from my angle. Right. Now I need to start working on the fuller floral. And I want him to bring it round here. So I'm going to pour. Let me take these tags off. I always leave the tags on, you know. Terrible. Let's put all these pansies. And again, what I'm wanting to do with the pansies um, is bring some over like it looks like it's just sitting. If I just show you, I place one there. Place them in little clusters. We must make sure that the lady can always see the thistle.
just keep bringing adding the you know adding pieces in in different areas so it looks like they spread around and they're growing from all angles so like that I may place another one there That one looks just slightly left out. There. So I did. Let me get. I want to get these in as well. I'm testing guys I'm just looking what looks better see that's the pink too pink where the pink is I'm trying not to clash things of white ranunculus by placing a little bit of white as well again as I say brings it alive So what I've just done is added, a, oh my good gracious sake, added a little bit of white here and here, just to bring that bit alive. I do want to add in, again, bigger flower heads, because it's not all about um, the tiny ones. You've got to add big with small. I'm going to put in some euphorbia as well, and you'll see the difference with the euphorbia added. Let me just put the ordnance bombs there. Goodness. I add in, I just lift it up, a bit of euphorbia as well amongst all the pretty colours. Doesn't that make it look lovely? So I'm going to cut this one down. It's a bit too long. And I'm going to manipulate it because got wire in it. So I'm going to bring this one on the top, slightly leaning it, some of it forward to fill that space. And again, just manipulate bring some forward 
I just have a lot from this angle, guys. I want to add in different shades as well. So I'm going to add in a little bit of a mauve colour. So I need to stand it up. No, that doesn't look right there. It's very hard when you're trying to hold it with one hand as well as place things in and see where how it looks at the same time. Oh my gosh, I've just dropped it. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, I've just dropped it all in the glue. Oh, Gideon. Let's see what we can do. I can't give the customer that. That's a big no-no. Oh, what silly. How silly am I? Oh, I can, because I can be clumsy sometimes. Oh, my gosh. I'll have to wash it. I'll have to wash it all off. bring in some white carnations let's see how I manage this So that's how I, where I'd like to position it. Now I 
want to place one around here. I think I'm hitting the stem at the centre. just by adding some carnations the white you know it gives that lovely feel that refreshing summery feel oh my gosh it's not very good one-handed I've tried it I can do it but it's not the most comfortable position, oh, especially when it's a long planter. <laughs> no, I'm gonna have to do this uh, by itself, cut this a bit shorter. Something now is needed around here. <coughs> Where's that? You want something? See, that can't go in the middle. want to try this out guys I want to see the colour scheme it's not big enough we need a bigger head so you know so lady doesn't want big flowers That'll make it a little bit more summery. And that'll fill up that little space. Just trying to get the ones out.
need to see. I need something there. Right. Let's get these in. Quiet guys, it's just when I concentrate, as I've said before, I go I do go quiet. And I'm so I need colour. I need a cluster. on this end as well. Just have a look. Right, I know what I need, guys. Foliage. I need foliage. So I'm going to place in some eucalyptus and what I'm doing and I'll turn it this way because I can see it better this way. I'm going down in here. I'm bringing out some foliage uh, where the gaps are. As you can see, you may be able to see the gaps from your side as well. And again, this will fill it up. It's areas like this that we're, we're filling up and uh, I kept looking at the floral and it's just not filling any gaps up and I knew it was the foliage that was required to start filling up our pieces.
just lift it up. Uh, now I can see better lifted it up. And at the back, that's going to have, well, that hasn't got a wire in, foliage at the back as well. As you can see, all of that is spare. And what we are going to do when we get to that point, if I just give you an idea, we're going to be doing this. Bit up here, the things then like euphoria, no, and we're going to that's how we're going to fill in the back. So I've got some, I keep forgetting about these eucalyptus. Get some of those in. These are all on single stem, so I'm going to place the wispy. It's what the lady likes. Just have a look at that as it's right. It's a lot of pink in the center. I need, I think, some purple around here and here. So Those. I'm only going to place in once the single ones here and there just to take that that comes that pink off. It's just a little bit too much pink in the centre, so I want to balance that. So I'm just going to lift it, guys, and I'm just going to. Add it in. And then you'll see that that has broken it up, all the pink. I 
just adding in purple. There, just by adding a little bit more purple in, not much, then that has done what we wanted. I'm not going to fill in any more at the front because the lady didn't want it compact. She doesn't like compact, so she wants it to be slightly airy and wispy. So now we are going to go straight to the back and fill in. So let's turn it around. So let's get rid of all the floral so I can see what we've got of the foliage. I don't know what we've got in the corner. I haven't put those and I'll save those a moment. I can see then what we're left with to do our filling in on the back. Um, I don't need those. Put those there as so well. Don't need the ranunculus. All those rubber bands are rubbish. These over here as well. Oh my goodness. Right. So what I'm gonna start with is our ivy. Right, and I'm going to dot these around first, and you'll see what I mean. And again, bigger leaf takes up more room, so you don't have to have as much filler placed in. And you can twist these around so they make like a circle. Let's just put these down slightly. Reposition. And I'm going down at an angle. I know the lady says, she, you know, it doesn't matter about the fill in the back because she won't see it, but it, it matters to me. Um, I don't like to see it bare. It's part of the design. It needs to be filled. You know, that's how I look at it. Let's have something different in. You know, the lady's paying her good money, you know, for something. She wants it complete. Well, that's how I see it. I would. <laughs> that's not me being fussy, you know. That's just being realistic. I 
and I'm going on the top with some of these. I can get them in. That one's hit something. That's it. Again, as you can see, it's all now joining in and joining together and hiding any, you know, uh, foam. And it's adding to it. I've got a bigger piece here that I want to place here. I'll we'll just get that like that. And don't forget to do around the edge as well. Something else, you know, just add in. And I just do this all the way until I'm happy that it's covered. And the glue strings get everywhere. Everywhere. Want to some dog wood? So what I'm going to do? 
place a bit of colour around the back here and then this one and then face it forward to just even if it's very minimal I like to bring a little bit of colour around the back Guys, let me just have a look and turn it around so I can see. Yeah, what I could do here. Oh, one of my vines have fell off. Oh my gosh. Just then done and I'm happy that it's covered. Let's just check maybe one on the end there too. Just heard a door. I've got a feeling that maybe my delivery. Right, guys, that is the uh, customer's order. Which, if I grab one of the others, if I just grab one. I've got two of two of these. Oh, here we go, guys. One moment. I'll just go and grab them. Won't be a moment. Oh, yes, guys. Sorry about that. It was a deliver the mid delivery. Um, so I've moved the camera back, and uh, I just want to show you just again. Let me just move my, ch my chair's in pain as well. If I get this again. These are for all the same lady. She wants another two long ones. Uh, she wants one where it's the, the centerpiece, which is the one that we've done today, which is this one. That's the one that we've done today, guys. Uh, a wall basket. She, the lady likes wispy and uh, she doesn't like, you know, compact, she likes movement. So that's the one which is the centerpiece one. Then we have two smaller ones, both exactly the same, mirror imaged in every way. The two smaller ones and they will go at the side of the big one or the lady may even put the three big ones at the top and the two smaller ones at the bottom so that's how far I've got and as you can see they've all got a thistle in 
in there. There's one in the front. If I can just lift that. One in the front there. And then we've got one in the front here also. So they are the two smaller ones completed. <laughs> it's hard to grab. <laughs> two smaller ones completed. If I just place them back over here. For the same lady. So they're done. And her long one that we did today in our tutorial. And we've used very similar flowers. She likes the uh, baby gerbera, so I've added a few purple ones with the pink. We've added daisies, some white ranunculus, the thistle, um, the calla lilies in white and purple. Um, here, then our conifer, a bit of seed, our pansies, some extra different type of foliage I've added in and um, some euphorbia and again some dogwood, some eucalyptus scenario, also the silver dollar eucalyptus and some ivy. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, some rose, pe rose leaves as well. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's our big wall basket. I've got another two of these to do, but not as extra, you know, as much in it as this one. This is, again, this is the centerpiece one. She wants just less, a bit slightly less like the smaller ones. And, um, and then that's the ladies order complete. So um, I hope you enjoyed that guys and uh, I hope it was something different and um, you know you you may give it a try you know get something even if it's a small hanging basket or a small wall basket you know um, just just give it a little go I've had some really tiny hanging baskets um, in like a copper effect they've only got to be around six inch wide no more than that six inch in diameter so and i've done little ones like that before so they're really sweet so again um, you can do any size or if you've got a trough and um, you know you want to just place it at the side or under your window and you want to do something like this as well again it doesn't have to be in this color you know you, you've got your own you know preference on what color choice you'd like and i'm sure it'd be beautiful in any type of Color that you do guys um, I just wanted to show you another customer order um, or part of the cus the customers order you know because I did show you the smaller ones and I wanted to show you the large ones and the lady I asked and she said it's okay to do a video on one of her planters so that's what I thought I'd do I always like to ask first so again guys Please subscribe, share and like and I hope you enjoyed that and uh, you give it a go in whatever colours you like, whatever your favourite colour, whites and greens would be lovely, just plain white and green, I quite like that, you know, uh, pure, pure colour, purity, so uh, again be proud of what you've done guys and what you do, I'm proud of you, so keep crafting again please subscribe it really does uh, get my business out there and uh, you know share to your friends and family colleagues cats and dogs mice bunny rabbits whoever <laughs> and again um, all the best take good care of yourselves everybody god bless and um, i'll see you again tomorrow bye bye i'll place that there i'll do a close-up guys if i can uh, let me just see if I've got something that can stand behind it. What about this? Is that solid? Oh yeah. <laughs> right. So, let's do a close-up. Let me just get it off the camera. Oh. 
Right, guys, there's the thistle, or as you know, the arygnum or sea holly. There's your white ranunculus with your pansies, your vine hanging down with your conifer, and your purple calla lilies, and also your white and your little baby gerberas with your euphorbia here and some um oh gosh <laughs> there's that much um silver dollar that's what i'm saying eucalyptus and then again your pansies there your pink pansies some ranunculus in there as well i've also added those as depth your carnations your white ones and your daisies as well oh and your seeds also placed in there again and if I can I try and turn it round now oh my good gracious me <gasps> that was a and on the back your dogwood your ivy some more euphorbia your rose leaves as well all for filler foliage at the back so let me just turn it around oh my gosh i've got to hold it strong there. so i will give this a blast with the um, the hairdryer or my soft brush to get any um, any uh, glue strings off I will give it a blast sorry about that so I hope you enjoyed that guys and uh, again give it a go maybe you know if you don't want to do it on a large scale you know just do a smaller scaled one and I hope you have fun with it and enjoy all the best guys, I love you all, take care and I'll see you tomorrow, bye bye.